This question was submitted by an incredible human being who does close proximity coaching with me. So I'm very excited about this question here. This person asked, I have the belief that in order to sustain 100K months, I need to first sustain 50K cash months and only then it will happen. How do you work on your belief and then move to make it happen? I would love your view on that. Okay. So you said, I desire a strong foundation with my offer suite expertise leadership to welcome more clients. So first thing is looking at proof around you. I did not sustain 50K cash months before going to 100K cash months. I just jumped. I just said, okay, we're at 62. I had my, I jumped from 30K to 62K cash. And then very quickly after that, I went to $98,000 cash months, $90,000, $98,000 cash months for about three to four months and then went to 100K cash months and now 200K cash months. So the first thing is, is there's proof right around you that you don't need to sustain things at a certain level. You can just jump. And I actually find that it's really easy to do that. It's really easy once you start making 50K cash months just to go to 100 because you don't have to rebuild momentum you're already in momentum so if you're going through a season in business where let's say you're having a lot of influx of people coming in tons of new people are buying your offers people are resigning keep the momentum going and what a lot of people do is they'll do a big push of their offers and then they'll stop they'll promote 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 and then pull back versus having a product suite that's always open, meaning people can always come in and buy. And I call this like opening the floodgates in your business where when you open the floodgates, people can always come in and they can buy your masterminds, they can buy your group coaching, or they can buy a passive course from you, or they could buy a low ticket offer from you. And so the first thing that I would do to make this jump is I would start selling more of those low ticket offers or passive offers that you have more regularly on social media. What that's going to do is bring people into those core programs that don't take up your time. And that's going to warm people up into buying your, your mid or your higher ticket offers those group coaching programs, those programs that actually bring in the higher amounts of income. And you can sell them those higher programs, mid and high ticket programs via email You can do, uh, you know, if you have a live call for one of the low ticket or courses, you can sell it to them right there. You can sell it to them in their portal, or you could just retarget them on your social media and say, hey, look, if you've bought this passive offer, you've bought this low ticket program, your next step is for you to join this high ticket offer, join here. And so often I've been doing this for years, this, this methodology, people come into our low ticket or they come into our micro offer or our passive course and they're like, oh my gosh, this is so good. I I would love to join your mid-ticket program, your mid-ticket mastermind, which is the headquarters. So this is how we're constantly selling spots inside of the headquarters and constantly selling out our mastermind without me even launching it. I haven't done a formal mastermind launch for our million dollar movements mastermind since I launched it. And it's always sold out and always has six figure Uh, It always brings in six figures whenever I launch it on social media. And by launch it on social media, I mean, I don't launch it. People just come in and message me and say, hey, can I join your mastermind? And then it fills up. I might put one Instagram story saying, hey, we have spots available. And then people will join and then I'll close the doors again. So I want you to look at your business and go, where can you open up the floodgates? Where can you offer in more entry points for your clients to join and then upsell to your high ticket. And then from a belief and energetic standpoint, one thing is, is remembering that more clients doesn't equal more work or more stress. People aren't buying pieces of you. They're not buying your soul. They're not buying your energy. They're not buying your time. When people invest in you, they're actually investing in themselves. They're not really investing in you as the mentor. They might be giving your business money, but they're not investing in you. They're investing in them. Like I don't, when I pay my mentor, I don't care what she does with that money. That money is not about her. It's about me. That's why transaction equals transformation because it's not about the mentor that's receiving the money. It's about the person that's deciding to invest in them. I've never looked at money and investment as like, this is for her. I've always looked at it as this is for me. 
And so you that that then opens up more channels that opens up more pathways for people to buy from you because you remember then that they're not buying you they're buying into them and and the reason I say this is because again a lot of people stunt their growth because they think that like oh no if they have too many group coaching clients or too many mastermind or too many private clients it's like you can't have too many clients because the clients aren't buying you now if you structured your coaching where they do get all of your time and you're required to answer a question then well they you know we got to change that in your product suite But if you have one-to-many programs where it's actually a scalable offer, there's no reason you can't sign on tons of clients. And so I would shift into that mentality and I would shift into that belief that you can accept thousands of new customers every single day. You know, Amazon's not stressed out when they get millions of buyers. They're like, oh yeah, of course we have millions of buyers because that's what we're designed for. Elon Musk isn't like stressing out when he has too many people buying his Tesla's he's like yeah that's what that's what it's designed to do businesses is designed for transaction and they're not transactioning with you the human they're transactioning with themselves and that's why you can open those floodgates and bring on an endless amount of clients